Hey, my name is Josh Garrick, and uh, today we're talking about more topics in Computer Science 1371. Uh, today we're talking about high-level file I.O., high-level input-output. It's really um, just reading files into MATLAB so that you can manipulate them and output them again, save them, save a new file with the information that you manipulated. So uh, the I guess we'll start off first with the ABCs of high-level file I.O., which is going into uh, a lot of the real basic functions uh, that will really help you start out in using this and um, dealing with different types of files like CSV files, Excel files, DLM files. Um, so uh, first, uh, the given inputs we have this time are a comma separated value, .csv file, a delimited file, DLM file, uh, XLS files, Excel files. Um, all files input variables will be in the format uh, file.csv. So starting out, um, let me see, make sure you can read this. Uh, for A, reading comma separated files, uh, we want to read in the values of CSV1 uh, and assign them to variable CSV array. So simply we just do CSV array equals CSV read uh, file CSV1. So CSV read is reading in um, different files of CSV. So uh, next we want to write comma separated files. So write the even columns of CSV array to a new file called CSV2.csv. So we're going to make a copy array. Um, it's going to be the even, the even columns of our given CSV array that we just created. And then we're going to write those columns into a new file called csv2.csv. And the format, as you can see, is going to be our file, our new file name, followed by what we're, save, what we're writing. Um, reading an Excel worksheet. Uh, read an Excel file where the file name is given in, as an input to this function in XLS1 and store the resulting outputs. So we're just gonna, uh, and whenever you use XLS read, you're gonna have three outputs. It's gonna be a num, a text, and raw. So for this, we're supposed to give XLS num, XLS text, and XLS raw. So then we just XLS read, XLS one, and we're gonna get the numeric values, the text values, and then everything from that Excel file. Uh, for writing an Excel file, we're gonna use XLS write of XLS two, uh, and we're going to write in the text data, so that's XLS text. Moving down more, we're, we'll, the question is, will the data originally written in XLS2 be overwritten um, by what we did in step D? The answer is yes, it will be overwritten because we're creating a new file and we're writing over that new file. Um, letter E is reading a delimited text file, uh, reading the value of DLM1. So with that, we have DLM array equals DLM read, and we're going to have our delimited file and the delimiter, which is a star character. Uh, writing that file, a new file, we're going to write a copy of DLM array that is delimited with an exclamation point. So copy array 2, we're going to use that to manipulate. It's going to be uh, every column and then, or every row and then those columns. Then we're going to write in DLM2 copy array and then the delimiter. Okay. So just an example problem to go into a little more is sorting an Excel file. So one of the homework problems was rank players. And uh, I'll let you see what uh, was given to us. Uh, so we're going to have two inputs, uh, the file name of the Excel file and the header by which the data should be sorted. No outputs because we're actually writing a new file up through this function. So, given the name of the Excel file, we're gonna and a column header, we're gonna find that column header. We're gonna um, sort the entire collection of data by that um, that column that we're given. So, if the data contained in the column is of type char, then it's gonna be sorted ascending by ASCII values, and if the data is 
type double and it'll be sorted in descending order. So um, I think that's really the important information from that. So we're going to go in with that and we're going to actually look at the code we wrote up for this. So uh, function name, no outputs. Uh, we're going to have rank players, file, and header. First thing we want to do is read the file so we can manipulate its data, num text raw. So we're going to have the numeric data, the text data, and the raw data. Um, and then we're going to find an index to use later on in the code. Uh, it's going to be where the function header is, and we want that data, um, excluding that first row, um, but every column. <coughs> We're going to find that index. Um, and then we're going to make another, we're going to make the column is our new variable, which is going to be from where that index was just found, that whole column. Um, we're going to also find the size of our raw data for later use. Next, we're going to utilize an if statement to test um, our column. So we're going to start at the second row of the column and check to see if it is if it's a char. If it is char, then we're going to sort it, um, sort that data from two to the end. We're going to have our new column and the positions of those columns using the sort function. And if it's not a char, we're just going to take uh, we're going to take out row one. Uh, we're also going to take out we're going to um, actually delete column one. We're going to then. Uh, take all of the, we're going to use this little trick here to turn our doubles into cells, or turn our cells into doubles, I mean. Let me not get that mixed up. So that we can then transpose them and sort them in descending order and get our new column in those positions. New column is not necessarily what we're looking for. We really just want the positions to use later on. So once we have that, we're going to once we have that if statement, we're going to, and the positions for what we want to sort our raw data, we're going to take out row one of our raw data. We're then going to uh, put an empty, empty cells in that raw data. Um, after that, we are going to sort that raw data. Um, every, every column and row by what we found earlier in the sort. Um, then we're just going to concatenate, vertically concatenate back on our row one to our sorted data. Um, so we have our new raw data set. So then we're going to actually go about writing our new file using our raw data set. So we're going to, the way that we need to write up our uh, file, our file name is going to be the file name um, the first part of the file name, uh, underscore the function header that we sorted it by, dot, um, xls. So we have to do, use our sturtoke function to get those parts, and then our file name, and then we're going to use xls write to actually write our file, our raw data into that new file name. And that's going to create a new file of your sorted, uh, Excel data. So that's just a, a more practical example of using uh, high-level input-output through MATLAB to manipulate data. So I hope that helps out a little bit. Thanks.